Hello, so today I'm going to tell you about the Wii Fun 8 gig digital voice recorder wristband and MP3 music player. Comes in a great little box, um, ready, it would be perfect for giving as a gift or for yourself. This is the wristband. As you can see, it's a great looking style with the metal and black. It has the port for charging and the on off switch on this side. And on this side, it has your select buttons. Take the little dots, line it up with the size of your wrist, and then just press. Once you get it snapped together, you can see it's got a, a very tight fit. It's not going to fall off on you. If you wanted some extra security, the little round pieces of plastic that fit on a Fitbit is the exact same size of this, actually. So you could always get one of those and, you know, put around it to keep it extra secure and tight for you. But I've had no problems while wearing it um, with it coming off. This is made of a nice rubber with metal and um, the top here has, has plastic. Now this screen here is just for decoration. When you're actually using the unit, um, you will see a little red button and I'll, a little red light, I mean, and I'll show you that in a minute. So this comes with 8 gigs of memory, so it can continue recording about 20 hours for one fully charged. Um, so you don't have to worry about, if you're using this for meetings or something, you don't have to worry about charging it every day. It can also be used really discreetly because it goes on your wrist um, and just looks like a bracelet or a watch and it's not real obvious that you're recording. So with 8 gigs, that's going to be a lot of space for you to store your recordings or your music. It can hold up to 999 files and depending on the quality of the files, um, you know, over over 88 hours, it supports MP3 and WAV files. So it gives you options for the type of files that you are connecting. It has a built-in lithium battery and as you can see it is USB powered. It plugs directly into the unit and then your other side plugs into your laptop or your power cord, whatever you're plugging in, and you'll see the red light come on here indicating it's charging. This is going to be the same red light it also shows when it's recording. Once you plug it into your computer, you'll see it go on and off and flash. That means it's getting a connection onto your computer. Now it comes with a different folder names but I redid mine. You can see I have music, record, and then this which is to set the time. So both of those um, you can rename them and then it will automatically uh, save your folders. In the music folder I just added one mp3 for right now to give you an idea. I'm not sure fully how long it took to charge mine. I plugged it in for about two hours and came back and it was fully charged. Um, the other thing to note is when it's charged and it's plugged into the computer or headphones, you cannot use it at the same time. So it has to be charged before you can um, do all that. So once you're charged and you have any songs on it you would like, uh, or if you wanted to keep it blank for recording, then you just unplug it and you see your light will go out. Alright, so first I will go over on how to record. On your side, you'll see a switch. Go ahead and put that on. And you'll see it go solid and then blink three times slowly. Alright, there we go. After it blinks, uh, your device is recording. As long as you have nothing plugged in, you're, you can't have your headphones or anything plugged in, it's recording right now. Um, you can say anything you want to say, uh, use it at a distance, record a meeting, um, whatever you're doing with it, it's, it's going to keep recording, your microphone's right here, until you turn the switch off. So when you have your recording, and you're ready to turn the switch off, switch it into the off mode, and you'll see it go red, and then blink once. And now it's off. The, the recording is automatically saved. So then it comes with this little cord, which has the headphone on one side and the USB on the other. So you just plug that in. 
to the side of your watch. And it comes with a really nice set of earbuds. As you can see, they're 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 not the standard cheap plastic ones. They're actually a really nice set of really comfortable and um, a pretty nice thick wire that doesn't tangle easily. It's got a nice protective coating over it. So it comes with these, but in for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to actually use a little speaker so that you guys can hear what's going on. So all you have to do is plug in the band and then you're going to be able to do your playback. Alright, so once you're all hooked up to your, your headphones, or, or in this case the speaker, so we can hear what's going on, just go ahead and flip it on. Alright, you'll see it go to red to start with, but it will actually go to blue to show you. Now it came on automatically into music mode. And it will leave off. I don't know if you heard it. just started in the middle of the song. It will leave off where you last were listening. So, music mode. You can turn the volume up. Turn the volume down. restart the track or go to the next track if you had it all right or you could hit this bottom and change uh, your mode whatever you're doing with it it's, it's going to keep recording your microphones right here now you can hear me talking Until what I just was recording turn the switch off so when you have your recording and you can change the volume turn the switch off the same way with that that you could record the, that you could change the volume when you did the mp3s and if you had multiple on here, you can just okay. hit it to change the recording. And you can also hit it at the bottom there to change back to the music mode again. Alright, so say you want to delete files. While you're in playing, you can go to delete mode. So press your top buttons together. You'll see it go to purple. Once you're in this, uh, to delete a single file, the one you were currently playing, you would hit one of these buttons. The indicator would turn blue and, and, and blink really fast. To delete all files, press both of these buttons together. Now, I would not recommend doing it this way unless you really, really need to delete something right that second and you needed space. Otherwise, your best bet is always to go through your files while connected to your PC to make sure you don't delete anything accidentally. All right? If you decide you don't want to delete anything, just turn your power back off. If at any time you feel like you've done something and you just want to start over, all you have to do is turn this off, hook it to your PC, and then you want to right-click on the drive itself when it pops up on your computer, and then just... Um, go to disk formatting and it will restore it back to factory settings. If you ever want to check your recording status while you're recording, press both of your plus and minus buttons together. If the indicator light turns red and blinks one time, the recording is in progress. In our tests while playing MP3s, we were able to uh, put a ton of music on here and just keep listening and listening and listening. Um, and so far, we, we were able to use it on one charge over 10 hours. Um, it's, it's had no issues whatsoever. As I mentioned before at the beginning, on one charge, you should be able to record about 20 hours um, and listening to your music for or recordings about 15 hours. We've listened to it over 10 hours so far with no issues and, and never having to charge it.